Hello everybody, welcome to my how to tighten a loose hinge on a Zippo video. Please stick around to the end because I'm going to compare what a brand new hinge from Zippo looks like to one I have tightened. Hello YouTube, hello all my subs. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a video on how to tighten a loose hinge. Uh, you probably remember these two Zippos from my video, how to fix a loose hinge and how to straighten it and how to move everything back uh, to so where it's nice and straight and things like that. But, um, unfortunately, since then, I've been using these uh, Zippos for a lot of tricks. The hinges have come loose on both again. Uh, when you bang out hard tricks on your Zippo, that's what's going to happen. That's why I just use these beaters that aren't worth any money and never will be because I don't feel bad about it. Uh, so, plus I don't like wasting all the fluid in my high polished brass armor. So, uh, the first thing we're going to be talking about is the tool you're going to be using for this. Uh... A lot of people in the comments on my last video had said you got to put a piece of cloth in between here, but I don't care about these hinges. I don't care if they get scratched, but I understand some of you actually might, and you, some of you might be doing this on an antique Zippo or a collectible Zippo or just a Zippo you like you don't want to get scratched up. Uh, so I'm just going to tell you what the problem with the cloth is. The problem with the cloth is you're trying to put it over everything you're trying to do. You're never going to see what hinge you're tightening. You're never going to see how much you're moving it. You're never going to see anything you're trying to do. That's why I don't use the cloth. Uh, it, you know, it was a nice suggestion. It was nice that people commented in there and, and mentioned it. So it's not feasible though. It just doesn't work that great. And the, the metal clamps, they will scratch right through cloth. You put a stupid little dish towel in there. It'll scratch right through it. So what you do is you get about two inches of electrical tape for each grip, each one. And, uh, you just wrap it around very tight. You make sure you pull it very tight. See how you could see all the teeth still, how you could see all the teeth still in the, my grips. That's because of how tight I packed it, and it's about four four wraps, and that's going to be enough to keep your zippo from uh, your hinges from scratching when you do this kind of work. But uh, you still have to be gentle because the lid is welded to the case, and the will the lid is welded to the lid. You can see the two holes there; those are just uh, light spot welds. Uh, they're not as strong as everybody thinks. So now you got your hinge all straightened. You watch my how to fix a loose hinge video, okay? And now your zippo closes straight basically and everything's good so the i did that video one shot and it's very hard to do a one shot video and be able to mention everything uh, i don't do a lot of editing i didn't do zero editing at the time when i made that video i'm getting into editing now and i'm trying to make it better guys so this is going to get better but the one thing you're going to want to do to tighten your hinge after after you have to do this after you reorganize everything, after you straighten all the lids, you fix everything. How you want to tighten these hinges, okay, is go one at a time. Can you see that? Can you see that? One at a time. Each one. You're going to do each one of those hinges one by one by one. So, we start at the first one. Go ahead, squeeze. That's tight. Start at the second one, give a good squeeze, nice and tight. Middle one, oh, I slipped off the middle one. There we go, nice and tight. Okay, now you're gonna want to turn your zippo. Uh, it's hard to it's hard to reach in and get the other two. So now that you've turned your zippo, you can reach the other two. So you start at the last one. There, I'm um, not the last one, the second last one. Then move to the last one. Look at that hinge. Look at that hinge. Doesn't move left or right, like really. Like that's that is very impressive. Okay, so let's get our insert back in. Yeah, everything is good. And look at that hinge. Whew. Doesn't even open all the way. Look at that hinge. Oh, I'm trying to keep it completely still. Look, doesn't move. Barely. Millimeter. Like that is a tight hinge. That's factory. That's factory hinge right there. Okay, so now let's move to the next Zippo. Look, look at the play. Look at that play on that hinge, okay? So, what do we do? We take out the insert, we look. My pin has came back through again. See that? See how it's not there? But it is there. So, if anybody remembers how we fix that, we grab old trusty. We hold down the case while we put the nail in the hinge and little tap. Guys, you do not need to tap this hard. Somebody tapped it so hard they broke their hinge. 
on, on my last video. You barely need to touch it. This is just a tiny, tiny, tiny little pin. I, it might look like I'm giving it a good whack on the video. I am not. I'm basically letting the hammer fall on it. Just, that's it. All right. So let's see. Let's see if that, okay. Let's see if that moved it. All right. I pushed it too far. I pushed it too far. You want to get it right in the middle because, uh, you want to get it right in the middle because when you tighten the hinges on it, you don't want it moving from that middle position. So double wax was too much. And now I'm having a hard time seeing where my nail is. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait, I think that might have just did it. Okay, so sometimes you don't need to hammer it. I've already previously hammered it. Okay, so now it's in the middle. So now we get rid of this hammer. And you grab the grips again. Now, let's let's take a look. Okay, now I move my pin. Now there's less movement because it doesn't have so much wiggle room. But now I'm going to tighten all these hinges on that pin. So, I come up. First pinch first. First hinge first. Get a grip on it. Oh. You're going to watch your tape. Sometimes it'll help it slide off there. Okay, so anyways. So first one, corner piece. You want to tighten. Done. Second one. Done. Middle one. Oh, done. Okay, now you flip your zippo. And get the second last one. Oops, I slipped off of it. There, tight. And now the very last one, you want to give a good tighten too, because that's what's going to seal that pin back in there. Oh, there we go. All right, so let's see. Oh, that's very tight. So let's see how she looks. Insert back in. A little bit of an overbite. I could fix that real quick. Uh, but this hinge, look how tight that hinge is. Look, I'm holding the zippo as tight as I can. Look, it doesn't even move. That's how, that's how easy it is to tighten your hinges and that's how well it works, guys. Uh, I really wished I would have put that in the last video because that video is at 2,000 views right now. Uh, so we're going to want to move this back a bit. Like I said, the Zippo has a little bit of an overbite. So you're going to give it a pinch and move back. I went for a second pinch. I don't think I needed it and I slipped off. No, okay, I didn't move it back. I didn't move it back far enough. I did get it a bit, but not far enough. Okay, and guys, if you have to remake this adjustment, it's always best to go back and re-tighten the hinges afterwards. Oops. Bleep! Yeah. I slipped right off. Okay. So let's see. Still that damn overbite. Okay, so we gotta go in a little more. We gotta go in a little harder. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move this back. Okay, that should be it this time. There we go. Perfect flush. Look at that. Perfect flush. Perfect lid. Perfect shut. That's a little cockeyed. I can fix that. So, what did I say? You want to retighten? Because now look, there's a little more play again because I had to move it. So now we retighten the hinges again. Because whenever you have to adjust the whole thing, you're going to re need to tighten these hinges. Okay, there we go. There's the first one. And the second one. The third one. Flip. Second. And first. Okay. There we go. Oh, doesn't even want to come back close. So that fixed everything. Nice and flush. Uh, it's a little cockeyed, but I showed you how to fix that in the last one. I, I honestly don't care to fix a little cockeyed, something that small. It doesn't really bother me, so I'm not going to do it. But now look, hinge, completely tight. Like that hinge is tight, man. So guys, that's how you tighten a loose hinge. Uh, there's two different ways to do this. Like I said, first you have to readjust everything, get everything where you want it. You got to watch the other video for that. And then to tighten the hinge now, 
that's how you got to tighten it one by one by one bingo bango nice and tight very tight very nice hinge everything closes flush and looks good same with this one and this one's actually tighter to be honest this one's tighter because i didn't have to fix the overbite and this is an armor so everything's a little heavier on this one everything is a little heavier but i don't mind but those are two fixed zippos two very tight hinges uh and to be honest here's a look i'll show you i'll show you a brand new zippo brand new zippo look at the hinge look at the hinge that look at the play that a hinge has compared to the one i just fixed look I, I, I can't even move it without moving the entire zippo because it's so it's so tight so this is better than factory stock though the trick i'm showing you tightens the hinge better than you buy you get the hinge brand new so everyone enjoy my video take care like share and subscribe comment patreon you know the drill